Welcome to Juice for the Journey. I'm so glad you have joined me today. Did you know that you have a great opportunity right now? An opportunity to take advantage of an idea or a project that God has laid on your heart to take the time to get involved. Well, it's kind of like juice for the journey for me. God gave me this in my spirit and for whatever reason, I just didn't feel like I had time to get started or to do this project. Well, um, my juice for today is to take advantage of this opportunity to do something that's beneficial and rewarding for your life. Psalms 1911 says this, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. David thought that memorizing God's word was a good idea. And I agree with him. Of course, it was not my idea to, to memorize scripture, but I was always encouraged and challenged by the adults in my life to do so. And I have found them to be very rewarding and, and very valuable as I have encountered different challenges in my life. Scriptures like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Like no weapon formed against me prospers. Like for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That words like, I'll never leave you or forsake you. Words like, I am the God that heals. Or though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Words like the battle is not yours. Words like if God be for you, who can be against you? You see what I mean? These words came to me when I needed them the most. They were powerful promises of God that I had hidden in my, in my heart. And I'm, I, I want to encourage you that memorizing scripture and teaching your children to do the same is a useful tool. It's one of the best tools on the journey of life. My juice for today is take advantage of this opportunity to make good use of your time. Give yourself one of the greatest tools, and that is putting scripture to memory. These powerful words from the Bible can be wisdom for you and your children. They can be life. They can be health. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, help me to hide your words in my heart so that I might have direction and correction. Lord, help me to hide these words that I might never forget about your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. My friends, be safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Stay out of people's space. And above all, remember that God loves you. Thank you so much for being with me today. I'll see you tomorrow.